<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the farm! So we are here at the zoo crafting a little homestead where we are working on breeding up the rare horses and gathering up lots of the domesticated species of animals. And it is time for another Doggy Beth side quest! We didn't do one earlier in the week because we were so busy, but then when I realized today that Ash had all sorts of seeds stuck in his inventory, it's time to give the dogs another bath. So let's round them up today. And I was thinking we'll actually take them over to the little river that we have. Oh, it's a Oh my goodness! My little- oh my goodness, there's little duck ducks everywhere! Oh, look at them! Hi, guys! My- my, like, little apple orchard is being invaded by tiny ducks. This is the most precious thing in the world. I love this. Hello! Oh, you guys are so cute! Do you eat apples? I don't know if you eat fallen apples. Yeah! Who's the cute little duck? Oh my gosh! She's just- she's just waddling along. Oh my goodness! And there's one of the males. So a little mallard over here. Do we have any little- any little babies? I know that we've hatched a lot of babies for like some of the ducks that have come on by. Or did they just grow up? Were those the grown up babies? Mr. Cow, what do you think? What do you think? Yes. Well, I think we're going to bring the dogs down over here, maybe over to the gravel, or maybe over to like this, ah, this little sandbar would be perfect. And just kind of gently dip them in the river, wash them up really quickly, and collect whatever they have hiding in their inventory. Hello, Pigu! So that, oh, there's another duck egg! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, look, there's ducks everywhere. Hello, Mr. Quack Quack. No ducks. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, I think that that would be good because then we're going to be spending the rest of the week here in the meadow of horses working with our puppies. And I just think it would be a good job to make sure that they're clean and ready to go, ready to be good farm dogs. Also, I'm getting kind of hungry. So let's eat one of my little supreme veggie pizzas. Oh yeah. I can't wait till we get the farm going because we'll have all the materials we need to really start whipping up some recipes and cooking a lot of things. It should help out quite a bit. Let me put this little apple away. All right, so let's dive on into the house. Darling is still napping since we stayed up so late watching all of those different, um, we need that oak wood plank actually. Since we stayed up so late watching all of the really awesome um, owls out that were out at night. So let's see, let's put all these away. And then actually I can put all my tools away and my little book from Alex, which was so awesome. Um, well, there's my still leaf plate. Where'd my pants go? Are my pants in here? There's my pants. <laughs> I was really worried for a second. I don't want to lose my, my steel leaf armor. All right, and then we'll grab the safari nuts to help move the puppies. We don't really need any of our little weapons or anything. I guess we don't even need the pizza. I'm down to pizza and french fries for food here. So that, that might cause some problems. We can even put away our packs. All right, there we go, and our little wooden hoe. And we're just going to be taking the puppies down to the river, giving them a good bath, emptying up whatever is hiding inside of... I'm just going to wear my exotic flower headband, and we'll just see what happens. Maybe we'll get a whole bunch more sheep. But yeah, we'll just see uh, what the puppies are hiding and what we can put together. I can even put the torches away. There we go. And what we can put together... In fact, let's start with the puppies in here. All right, Devin, you don't have a pack, but Pine and Iris actually do have packs. So I'm going to go ahead and take them over to the river. Alia, you're coming with me too. No, nope. and... Uh, whoops, okay. And to the safari... Hello, Mr. Pigu. I know I'm wearing the magical flower headband that makes you all follow me. And then we're going to grab Zoe. And then we're going to run over to the river. And if we have a little bit of extra time, I actually... Oh, look at the little Pigu with the little duck duck. I love it. If we have some extra time, I do actually want to stop back over by the house so we can pick up some iron and other things that we're going to need to make apiaries tomorrow. All right, all the puppies, all of the puppies, all over the place. How are you doing, puppies? All right, Alia, I'm going to start with you. And we're just going to go ahead and now I'm going to push you into a little water, like so, and give you a little bath. Scrub it up. Nope, Alia, I'm not done. All right, in the water. There we go. And then scrub it up, dub What's in your chest? All right, we've got some apples and some eggshells and one fish. So clearly, Alia, I need to allow you some more time to roam around with me because you have you have barely anything in your pack. There, you're all done. You're all done. You can be clean now. All right, Pine, we're going to go ahead and push you into the water if I can manage that. All right, nope. Ah, oh, he's running for it. He's running for it. Into the water we go. Into the water. All right. Pine puppy in the water. Scrub a dub dub dub. Gotta get you out of the water super fast. Okay, you've got a few fish. A few fish. So Pine and Alia might need to be moving around with us a little bit. Pine, come back. I'm gonna okay, we set him too aggressive, so he'll at least keep nearby. Alright, and then let's go ahead, Zozo. Let's push you in the water next. Just a little nice little sandbar. Perfect for this kind of work. 
There we go. Oops, don't go too deep. Don't go in the water too deeply now. All right, scrub dub dub, scrub dub dub, and what's in the puppy's chest? Ooh, there we go. Zoe's actually got a lot of things. Look at this. She's got all of these beautiful, beautiful begonias. Oh my gosh, and some columbines. She's got lots of flowers, some holly, a bed, a dodo egg. She's got a whole bunch of fish. Oh, some sugar cane. Wonderful. We can give that. Oh, we could actually start growing it. We can start growing it nearby. So we can have some food and a raw pork chop. Good job, Zoe. Hello, Alia. Good job, Zozo. All right, let's wash Iris. So Iris, let's get you over into the water. All right, come on, Iris. Iris? No, you have to, Iris, you're having a bath. Where are you going? You're, you're having a bath. It is a puppy bath day. It only comes like two or three times a month. You can, nope. Come on, no, Iris. Oh my gosh, Iris, you goose bucket. Don't make me put you in the safari net. We're gonna, you're gonna be a good girl, okay? Come on, oh, Iris! Oh my goodness! You are, you are flat out refusing to get a bath, aren't you? Come on, do you have something you, you really wanna hold on to in your pack? Is that what it is? All right, come on, come on. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, brace yourself and into the water. There we go. All right, scrub-a-dub-dub, and what's in the puppy's pack? All right, we'll get her out of the water. Lots and lots of, all right, and we'll get you out of the water really quickly because you're not even bobbing. Iris and Pine, they just sink like a rock. All right, so let's get these puppies over here and let me review, I'm gonna get them out of the water and away from it. And let's review what we've gathered. So lots of begonias. I think that uh, the collection that, who was it? It was it was Zoe. The collection that Zoe had is the most fun because it's a whole bunch of the beautiful flowers that I really love and some raw pork chop, which is good to help them eat. So actually I'm gonna give that to Zoe. Zozo. Here you go, there's a raw pork chop you had, and some of you other guys are kind of hungry now too, so let's see. One, two, three, four. There we go, so fed the puppies. We've got a whole bunch of seeds, and these seeds are actually gonna be really helpful because they're wheat seeds, and we can grow more wheat here on our farm. We've got some chicken eggs, a dodo egg. Um, Actually, these burgonias, oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. I kind of want to start like growing them on the other side of the river. But maybe maybe we'll just go ahead and like we can start with a tiny little farm for them right here. So let me swap them out. Salmon begonia. There we go. And we'll even grow some of the wild columbines and some of the holly. Just get the stuff, the stuff that can propagate, we're gonna plant over here. Watch out, puppies. Alright, no. Oh, hello, cow. Yes, I know I'm wearing the pretty flower headband. I'm gonna take it off for just a second. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant. No, don't walk on my begonias. Get off that, get off that. There we go. I'm gonna plant the cocktail vodka begonia because it's also very pretty. And the salmon serenade begonia. And then we'll put the um, the columbines kind of down here. And they can look very pretty there. We'll put the butterfly bushes, hello puppies, right there. And we'll sprinkle some of the holly around. And then what we can do is once these start growing, we'll come back and see if we can get them to propagate. So, you know, come back and constantly harvest up the flowers. Watch out, Mr. Watch out, Mr. Cow. Oh, dang it. You guys, I shouldn't have done that with the puppies right behind me. You guys, I needed those. Zoe, she wanted the flowers back already. Pine, thank you, Pine. All right, and there's actually a lot of fish and some of the dogs eat the fish, so that's a good thing. All right, and then I'm gonna put these back down, okay? We're gonna let them grow. Then we'll come back and see if we can get more beautiful begonias. So we'll have a tiny little begonia flower thing going on back here. All right, so let's get all the puppies back over here and swap out for the other ones. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's Primrose and a duck. Oh, that's so cute. That is just so cute. All right, come here puppies. Zoe, why? Why do you insist on getting in the fire? You're almost as bad as Ash about that. All right, sit. Alia, sit. Okay. And let's swap out and now we need to get Lily and Tate and we're gonna come on in and I need Ash so Lily Tate and Ash Ash you're gonna come with me oh he's so hungry we need to feed him okay we're gonna get Ash inside he can eat some food for just a moment hey Devin I'll bring Pine back inside in a second. There we go. So Ash is eating some food. While we put these away very quietly, we don't want to wake up, darling. So many chocobo feathers. How did we get that many chocobo feathers? Was like Sunflower just sitting down next to one of the dogs? She must have been. All right, we'll put these away. Oh, thank goodness we have a little bit of sugar cane. I'm gonna plant that somewhere. Oh, Torch Ginger. I need to make a greenhouse back at the zoo to start growing these healing herbs because that would be a good thing to do. All right, let's put away the fish and this extra bed. 
All right, we've got some little torches. We can put those away too. All right, and let's take the puppies over. All right, you ready, Ash? All right, come on. And I'll put Pine back inside really quickly too so Devin isn't lonely. All right, Pine, come here. Devin can actually be attacked by a lot of the uh, predator animals, which is why I'm keeping her inside. She can be attacked by a lot of the predators that are around here, so I don't want to keep her out because like a bear could come up, um, or even like the spiders, and they can kill a tamed dog, so you got to be very careful. All right, here we are, Lily, Tate, Lily, Tate, and Ash. So there we go. All right, Ash, come on. Come on, buddy. Let's push you in the water. Yeah, it was a good puppy. And let's see what your pack has. We've got the unhold sticky rice. So a lot of seeds that I can go ahead and put into our little compost. You got a little fish. Got a little oak sapling. And I'm going to leave this wool in here with him. Because, Ash, I am hoping you will be willing, little one, to help out Bluebell in the future. Oh, Lily, are you ready for your bath? Good girl. Yeah, my oldest puppy. Of course you know how this goes. You know how this goes. All right, so Lily has a bunch of crops. We've got a ton of seeds this time around. Some switchgrass. Oh, some oats. Good job, Lily. And a fish. Good job. All right, Tate. Oh, oh my goodness, Ash, you're really swimming out there. All right, Tate. All right, come here. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Yeah, you guys can tell that you've been trained a lot more. All right, Tate, let's see what's in your pack. Oh my gosh, reptile hide. <gasps> and more pagonias. Oh, Ash, or Tate, how did you know? Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to finish bathing you in just a second. Oh, I have more sugar canes. All right, we're going to grow these up along here. And I'll be back for those. I don't want to make too much of a sugar cane farm because this is more like traditional farming going on over here. But, uh, you know, we really, until we get some bees and like a lot of bee apiaries up and going to harvest tons of honey all the time, we really can't risk it with bluebell and primrose because they will just like storm off on us if we don't feed them correctly. All right, and let's come over here, and we're going to put the carrot seeds and the potato seeds in here. And then uh, the switchgrass, too, I think. Can I put the switchgrass in here? Yes, we can put the switchgrass in there. Oh, and actually the poppy, too. All right, there we go, a little poppy. And I'm going to plant the little begonia. Oh, and actually, the seeds. I don't really need these seeds. So let's go ahead and put those seeds away, at least, in the composter so they be can become useful products that we can actually use. And I'm going to plant the little begonias over here because I love the begonias and getting them to propagate would be really fun. So we'll put them over here and then let's come back over. Dun, 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 dun. In fact, we could probably start hiring gardeners to help us to get the flowers to really start moving and grooving. All right, Tate, you're going back in the water, buddy. Back in the water, there we go, all right. Oh, more sugar cane. Good job, Tate. Some wild rice, chocobo feathers, lily of the valley. You really shouldn't be holding on to a poisonous plant, Tate. But, you know, I'll make an exception because you, you're a very well-trained dog. All right. And there's that. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of wild rice growing, especially over, like, in this sort of swampy area. So we can go ahead. I'm going to plant it over here. There you go. Whoops. All right. Didn't mean to quite fall into the water. Um, and then some over there. There you go, wild rice. That shouldn't hurt anything. So there we go. We've ended up with quite a bit of food. Um, here's some more oats. I'm going to plant those. Yeah, quite a bit of food from all of our puppies. A lot of seeds this time around, which is really fun. I'm going to plant you right there. Whoops, Tate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tate, you startled me. All right. So a lot of different foods. Don't want to wake Darling up. And we're going to put these away and put this away. More sugar cane. I'll turn those into sugar right away for the girls because I know they're getting hungry. And put this away and this away. And maybe even... Well, actually, I know where I want to put this dirt. I actually have a spot for that dirt. All right. Oh, the girls aren't in here. All right. Primrose and Bluebell. I got a little bit more sugar for you. So I'm going to give each of them a little pile of sugar. Hello, Primrose. Yeah, your guys' sugar piles aren't getting too low. Yeah. But they're low enough, I'm concerned. And then I'm going to come back over here. There you go, Bluebell. Um, she is gathering up a lot of the wool. Good. All right, and Ash. Oh my gosh, so many pigus. All right, Ash. Oop, Ash. There we go. I'm going to put you in here. And I am going to set you to wander with her in just a little bit. You're going to sit for now. There we go. So, whew. All right, all the puppies have been cleaned up and tidied up and they're ready to go. All of the, the dogs are now going to fall, start following us around, running around. We're going to be working on our farm. And actually, I wanted the dirt for this spot so we can fill it in. 
and there's gonna be a lot of work to do but we're just gonna be here for like I said until the Saturday special and then we need to zip back and start working on a whole bunch of the big exhibits in the zoo because things are gonna start really speeding up and picking up in the zoo we did great getting a whole bunch of the exhibits started we managed to hit our goal of four of the main exhibits for last month so I'm thinking we need to pick another four exhibits for this month and I've got a couple special ones in mind and then I can't wait to share um, you know a few, a few more ideas we might do another voting pretty soon for what kind of animals we should be adding into the zoo I think it's gonna be a lot of fun any more apples to pick I love how they get all shiny and pretty when they're ready to be picked oh and I just can't wait oh man I mean there's so many things you can make out of apples so many different things let's see mince pie apple juice dough of brownie apple crumble fruit salad apple pie Oh, cinnamon apple oatmeal, which I think would be really cool to make. Then we've got the little fruit bait. There's caramel apples, apple jelly, fruit punch, apple tea leaves, apple cider, um, more apple tea leaves, a double apple drink. Interesting. Apple tart. Then we've got apple liqueur, toffee apples. Um, let's see. We've got more apple tarts, the health syringe. Oh, apple sandwiches. I didn't know that was an option. Apple sauce. Apple juice, apple yogurt, grated apples, and more apple sandwiches. So what do you guys think we should make that could be like a signature thing from our little apple a day orchard that we have here? Because I, I really want to get that little market stand set up so that all of the other people on the server can go and they can see what we've been working on and what we're, we have for sale and they can buy some things from our little market stand in Relic Ruins. So what kind of uh, delicious fruit do you think we should, uh, or delicious apple flavored apple centered item do you think we should work on because I think there's quite a few I'm kind of leaning towards doing the oatmeal believe it or not like maybe some apple pies but if you want your cinnamon apple oatmeal to get your day started the right way then you can buy it from our wonderful our wonderful farm here though that would mean we would need to get a lot of cinnamon so we would need like a cinnamon farm back in the jungly areas back at the zoo but that's gonna be so fun so thank you guys so much for joining us on this side quest and I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early we're gonna go look for some wild bees so we can get some apiaries started up in the flower fields to harvest honey from and to have some nifty pollinators nearby for when we start doing a lot of the actual farming and I'm also going to try to build kind of a protective area around the chasm and get a barn built up so that we'll be able to start breeding the horses this weekend that's the goal all right but I'll see you guys next time bye bye